Slonta. Salut. Aha. Aha. Hi, welcome back to our stupid directing. It's the Corbin. It's Rick. And you can follow us on Instagram, Twitter, 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 that was not scripted, kids. That was straight off the old improv noggin. We are two peas in a pod, or as some of our friends like to say, two peepees in a poop hole. That happened in this movie. Uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Whoops. Okay. Uh, hey, ho. today we're doing a movie review <laughs> of the. There's no way this was two thousand one. Two was it? Yeah, 10? I thought it was I know it felt it felt a lot older, didn't it? Nineteen ninety five. I thought. Why am I? Why did I think it was nineteen ninety five? I don't know. Anyways, because uh, it felt that way. Yeah, the two thousand one film, Janjali Bar. Uh, that was that was just Corbinized. We'll take it. Chanjanini. Chanjanini Bar. How'd you say? Welcome to Chanjanini Bar. Chadney. 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 Oh, yeah, Chadney. Sure. But I like Chanjanini Bar. Chanjanini Bar. Yeah, the Chanjanini uh, Bar. Directed by. Uh, Madur Bandakar, I hope. Who, if I pronounce, mispronounce that, then looks like forgive she, me. What is it? And it Madhur was, Bandarkar. She also was one of the writers as well, on top of Mohan okay. Azad as well, uh, starring a no-name actress named uh, Tabu. 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 Ta- 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 I think it's probably Tabu. 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 Oh, she was in Life of Pi. That's cool. Oh, wait, she was? Wow. Who knew? Oh, wow. Uh, and <laughs> there's somebody who's never oh, they, seen they our channel before. They always take it seriously, which is why I do it. It makes me laugh. And yes. then, uh, as well, Atul Kankarni, right? That's how you pronounce yes, it. Yes, Kul. Kul Karni. Kul Karni. Yeah. And then a whole slew of other people. Yep, yep. Uh, it's a big, big, uh, yep, yep. big, big cast in this film, but those are yep, the yep. Uh, taboo. This is Taboo's film. Yeah, it's uh, true. Mainly, and then he would be your, your biggest supporting character after that. Yep. Uh, but it came out in 2001. It's going to be a 100 Fence Horror Review. If you haven't watched it, I don't know where you can watch it. Uh, yeah, <laughs> we, we, we really it. don't know where you can we, see this. Uh, in India, it might be different. It might be more readily available. Um, but yeah, so it's be 100 Fence Horror Review. If you haven't watched it, yeah. go watch it. Come back. Ricky, your initial thoughts, please. It's a shame it can't be seen more easily in more places. Yeah. Um, we'll talk about all of the aspects in just a moment, but overall, I loved it. Mm-hmm. Um, I particularly liked the fact that it went in a direction I wasn't expecting. Mm. Um, she's she's perfect. Mm. Um, not okay. just as an actress, but her specifically in this role. Yeah. I was thinking if we were going to do because you could you could do this film again. Oh yeah, update okay, um, I think it would be. It's an evergreen thing. Yeah. But I, 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 all in all, I, I really, really like this yeah. film. Her best performance for you? <sighs> yeah, yeah, probably. Uh, it's hard because. Well, the, well I, I know I've watched this. Uh, I, I knew going in that a lot of people considered this her best performance. Yeah, if someone were to say, okay, you've got to make a decision and you were going to tell somebody what do you think is, is Taboo's best performance of all the films you've seen, it would be it'd be hard not to make you jump over, over at Hedder because of the Shakespeare in, lover inside of me. But I, I to watch her carry the film, because we've watched her so many times with Irfan, but what's beautiful about that is watching them just, these two actors work together, but to watch her carry this film and to carry a film that's as old as it is that is as dangerous as it is, and I, she's never looked more beautiful, mm. and she's just perfect for the yeah. for, for the part. Uh, yeah, I really enjoyed. It. it was like a Shakespeare comedy. Yeah. Oh wait, I mean tragedy. Yeah, it was just. It like was a actually comedy. very Shakespearean. I it feel. was very like, Shakespearean. Like a Shakespearean tragedy. It was a very Shakespearean, <laughs> especially when you reach the end. Oh yeah, <laughs> it is very Shakespearean. There's uh, not a lot of happiness going on in this for very long. If no. There's- if, if there's any happiness or just contentness or, or it's a fantastic what, story uh it's so it's a Great displaced woman story. is forced to become a beer dance be, be, beer bar dancer yeah beer bar dancer uh, which i did not know was a thing yeah see <laughs> which is also very new to us very strangely dancing and people giving them money <laughs> yeah see i was a 
If for if for Andrani, really? yeah, she was shocked. She's like, "You don't have something like this." I said, "We, no, have, we have strippers." St- there you go, <laughs> strippers and pole dancers. Like we like that actually, you know, take their clothes off and people throw money at you. Not just they'll dance and then they can go get money. So that that concept was just yeah. She said, "No, it's very very." Very common I mean, in some of the seediest parts of towns. We have hooters, but that's more their waiters that just have breasts and right. they bring you wings. Yeah, they're not really you're not tip it. Well, then, technically you do. They are yeah. waiters, but <laughs> no. And like, but I guess comparably, it would be like uh, being a stripper in a strip club doing lap dances culturally for yeah. us, as far as because because for us, thankfully I had Andrani to help me understand yeah. the level that this was at. Yeah. for her, because it was. I I was then able to put it into a place that I could rationalize, which would be like having this woman go and be a stripper at in over here off Sepulveda in Panorama City, and having to take off her clothes for people and do lap dances for them. Yeah, that's the cultural equivalent. Yeah, Yeah. no, that's what I figured. It was just strange. I was like, you're just dancing like this, and people give you money. (laughs) Right. (laughs) Okay. Yeah. (laughs) Cool. I mean, sounds like a good gig. I'm kidding. <laughs> Anyways, uh, but yeah, I, I really, really enjoyed this film. It was intense. It was, it took its time as well. Correct. In, in terms of just building up what was going on, and then just bad stuff started to happen at Taboo after each additional thing. And you're like, oh, I guess this is kind of a good thing, even though she married like a, a pimp. And you're like, right. oh, she's kind of happy, but then it shit hits the fan again. All over again. And even No matter worse, how hard she tries. She just keeps going, and you just feel so bad for Taboo. And you're waiting for her to finally say enough is enough and go freaking rogue, right? Mm-hmm. And she never does, but still gets her heart broken. All, like that final line mm-hmm. when she says, no matter, basically, no matter how hard I tried, I could never get to my future because I couldn't get away from my past. A lot of nature versus nurture in this. Huge. <laughs> <laughs> well, and, and the, the, in this, like, she didn't become what she could have become. Mm-hmm. She kept herself, although she did give away parts of herself. Yeah. Um, they were and take, that that they for were taken me from her. one of the best takeaways right off the bat and it does I don't even think you need to have seen Taboo to get what I'm about to say and that I think is one of the biggest strengths of the film that no other actor that I can think of could bring to it and that is we've said it every time and we're going to say it again every time at least I will there is a regal classiness yeah, to this sure, woman for sure in everything she does iconic nose that makes this all the more heartbreaking to watch her degrading herself and in an atmosphere where this woman who is so regal and queenly having to do something so base and beneath the stature of who she really is at the core of who she is not with a stuffy nose you know uppityness but just this just this stately regality that is the essence of who she is having to and how awkward it is to watch her literally head and shoulders above everybody because she's taller than them all forcing herself to have to do these things because she has no other alternative it was just it was yeah. and the sadness i was like i don't like seeing taboo like this yeah it's it was quite sad <laughs> And she, it, it, her character arc on this, even though, um, in terms, it, it was it was quite interesting because she started off obviously after the, you know her parents died and it was so awful and what which what an amazing fire scene yeah and that burn sequence yeah it was uh, top notch incredible notch. Um, but the fact that after that she was almost like an unformed being almost like she was like just. A, she was yeah. just existing. She wasn't really alive, almost. Yeah, just because such the great uncle, right? Oh, just what a great uncle. Yeah, when that when when he came over, because uh, obviously you didn't really get hints of that before that scene. Thankfully. And then it, he started talking. I'm like, oh god. Yep. Oh god. <laughs> and <laughs> and when our friend uh, Atul Kolkarni uh, realized what had happened he did what everyone should do in a situation like that when you discover that someone's uncle has raped them that's right everybody stab them a thousand times with a knife yep <laughs> i was actually very happy with it obviously you didn't know how to feel about a character i uh, know uh, because like he was just this 
weird pimp gangster kind of guy. A good guy. He wasn't really. He was. He bought taboo to you know just have sex with her, and he was mad that she wasn't happy to have sex with him. And then <laughs> I was like, oh, okay, I guess you defended her. That's cool. Yeah, because I'm so happy. <laughs> it was written in the way we talk about this all the time, and. His performance, being oh, yeah. a skilled actor, there was no judgment of the character. Even though, obviously, we're now getting there, I feel like he is at the level of, of the Pankaj. Your mic just, your, your, oh, your shit thing just got... Say something? Hello! Sorry, guys, we had a, uh, some technical, technical difficulties, difficulties. There. Um But yeah, so... Uh, we were talking about uh, Atul Kul Kulkarni's yeah. character. Atul Kulkarni's character was so, so interesting because, one, he's, I think, uh, in the conversation for me for... The best actors in India, and of course, with yes. Menon, Manoj, yep. Pankaj, Agreed. Nawaz, Fafa, all those. I think he's that talented. Of I, agree. I agree. Um, I agree. I think... feel like he hasn't gotten his his due really, because I even though I think people that have seen him are like, yeah, I know Atul's a great actor, but I feel like mainstream, he's not in that conversation for a lot of people. I, think and it's I feel he should be <laughs> kind of like kind of like uh, he's becoming a little bit more, but he's always been below the radar for people as like Brian Cox. Oh, okay. Um, Somebody that everybody in the industry has known for decades and respects and loves because he's such a great actor, but he's never until like Succession's the biggest thing that has kept him in people's minds. Like he's going to be known for playing Logan, right? But dude's been around for decades he's doing more great for work. Probably, yeah. That and he was also in the Planet of the Apes, the first Planet of the Apes yeah, he was. remake. Yeah, it'd be a good one. Or but Paul, he's a magnificent or actor. Or Paul Bettany. Before, Paul Bettany's a good example. Before um, a Marvel. Avengers. Yeah. yeah. Um, before everybody knew that's who he played. But, but yeah. I, I don't know if this was caught on the recording when we, we talked about this, but one of the great things that was I, in the writing and it was also in his portrayal is he's this complex character that on the one hand you're like, this guy's a dangerous, creepy, bad guy. And then on the other hand you're like, but he's, also compassionate and sweet but then it's, you also figure out later by other people he was like he was sleeping around yeah he was like but he wasn't was he it, didn't judge the character yeah was it all just a farce to her to, to right make, yeah like that even was, though she knew he wasn't a good person correct but it gives the line when the she goes to the guy and she says to him what you went from a hooligan to being a pimp and he's like you're gonna talk to me about the fact that you think you were his wife you were one of his concubines <laughs> it it gave some bite to that because there was she's like you may be right which can we just talk about how this movie is loaded with examples of the worst of the worst of men <laughs> and they're still around men the bad not all oh. men are bad <laughs> but boy are there a lot of bad men um yeah i thought this was really well written in terms of its pacing Agreed. of this film Agreed. um there was some stuff, obviously, that was just dated in terms of certain things. That was just the style back oh, just, in the it, day. It looks like it's it looks like it's so much older. It looked than like it, it could be an '80s film in terms of the camera That's what quality. Said, exactly, uh, like, which uh, the audio it quality takes place in the '80s. Yeah. It was when we get started, so the audio audio quality, quality wasn't great. At correct. least the one that we have, that might just be the version we have. Who knows? Yeah, because um, because I, I don't think it's a, a, a very widely available film. Uh, and back on Taboo, I feel like she's such an interesting one. Obviously, we've all said it. She, overall, of her career, she's probably the best Indian actress we've seen. Unquestionably. Well, actresses a, a, around, up with Meryl Streep. Uh, actually, up with Meryl Streep, uh, in yeah, my that, opinion. She's somebody that can be in that conversation. Absolutely. Um, but the fact that she can be in these big, massive films with these big, massive, st massive stars, but then also do films like this. Like a basically an Anya Kashyap style film that's gritty, where she's playing somebody like at, almost is a prostitute mm -hmm. at times, uh, and it's it's just not like an uplifting. There's not like songs and dances outside of them dancing on the stage that you can go back and be like, oh, that was those were fun. It was this is just a nitty gritty, yep, depressing, yep, film, and it's so wonderful that she decides to do these style of characters. Agreed. And, and I feel like that's a that was a common thing for her. Agreed. And she and, was like, I can do both. And she gives you emotional breakdowns that are never indicating or contrived. Oh, yes. It's always real. She never shows you the sadness. She is always just sad. The scene when she saw Atul dead on the table. I yep. thought it was a really great scene. That was a great Obviously end. on top of the end. Yeah, of course. The, the that, that ending moment. Uh, but a, another shout out as well. Really enjoyed. And Indrani pointed out the actress that she first 
uh, is learning how to dance from mm-hmm. of yeah. the cavalcade of ladies. Mm-hmm. Uh, that lady was in Devdas. Uh, do you remember her name? That actress that you pointed out. Oh, I forgot um, all the actors in Devdas. No, no, thanks. But <laughs> I, I enjoyed. I believed all of those girls that were the dancers together. Yeah. I believed all of them. I cared about them. I felt the closeness of all of them. Um, I, I also was. The, the turn in the film for a movie that's 20 years old, I was so impressed with the danger territory they went into in the last 45 it got minutes. Dark. <laughs> it was, I was like, this is the kind of material we talk about in cinema today, for not OT, back then like, this is on like the OTT, OTT platform. OTT, absolutely. Because like when they, when everything was shit hitting the fan, and obviously she was down on her luck, and he was like, do you want me to call? And I was like, and she just, it, it was a brilliant, beautiful moment by her, by the way. She just, she didn't answer. No. She was just contemplating. Like, what else, yeah, what else and am also, I going to do? I don't want to, but yeah. I have to. Exactly. This is my child. And then what happened to him? I did not, not see, that, see coming. that coming. I at thought all. they were going to like beat him up or something. And it was bad enough that he had to do the hand job on the guy. Then it doubled down when was his it a hand buddy, job or he was making him blow him. I thought it was the hand because he did mm. this when they came back. He went like this. Okay, gotcha. So I thought it was just a, just a hand job. But then the buddy next to him ran says, a train on him. Holy cow! Take your pants off and bend <laughs> over. It's my turn. Yeesh. I did not expect that. <laughs> not at all. But it 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 was and, wonderfully shocking. And then obviously that gave him his motivation for, yes, for the rest justifiable of the justifiable to go uh, kill the way he does to, to what they did to him. Yep. Um, and then the fact that the daughter tried to. Help out the mom, but then you were like, felt so bad for Taboo. She's like, I've been trying to keep you out of this. I'm literally doing this. Yes. But I literally, so the sacrifice I just made of having sex with all these dudes, yeah. you're still doing what I didn't want you to do anyway. And how hard it is to break a cycle once Generational the cycle, cycle. started. Yeah. No matter how hard she tried, these things just kept happening. And, and one of the biggest ones was, and I'll say it over and over again, one of the reasons these kinds of cycles repeat of women having to raise children on their own, women being raped by their uncles, women seeing their sons unjustly accused and thrown in jails and raped is because of the dirty, nasty, awful deeds that are done by evil men. Yeah, yeah and it was... Uh... And every once in a while you get the good eggs. Like I thought it was a beautiful moment when the friend in the restaurant saw her daughter dancing Mm. And she makes eye contact with him, and he's got tears in his eyes because he can't believe her daughter's here. Mm-hmm. And he drives her home. Uh, that was a beautiful moment. They're on the phone trying to get a price, and all the people they're talking to is like, yeah, she's used material. She's not a drink. She's an empty bottle. And it slowly comes back, and the daughter's listening. And the daughter goes. And then when the daughter just comes back home and just hands her the roll of money, sad. Yeah. Such a sad, it's, tragic like said, it, movie. it feels like a Shakespeare tragedy. This, it does. This entire film, just as it went on, I'm like, oh, man. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I feel so bad for Taboo. I know. Uh, but it was it was quite, obviously, as I'll sing her praises all day. Uh, overall, she's the best Indian actress I've ever seen, I feel. Um, I agree. Radhika Apte is up there, but she's younger, so it's hard to compare. A yeah, big, there's massive nobody, body, a body of work of Taboo. Yeah, to, there's nobody in, in Taboo's league at her stature and her resume. Yeah. All the other ladies are going to get there. Like, Radhika is going to get there. Yeah. But she's got another 20 years of work yeah, before yeah. she can be in that conversation. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, but the, the the fact that at the beginning, obviously, what happened to her and, and she was like this just shell of a self and she kind of, kind of was getting more acclimated to the world and she did everything so, so naturally and so believable. Yeah. And it's just everything you want in an actor. All it's, of her, it's wonderful. It to watch. is all of her transformations. You know <laughs> all of her transformations were internalized, and you saw the exterior because of something that Taboo had done to the character internally, like when she starts dancing and enjoying it. Mm-hmm. You can see it happen because Taboo's done the work on what's going on inside of the woman, mm-hmm. not just I'm going to dance and make it look good because she's dancing good. I would love to know the kind of. I would love to talk to Taboo and just, I could spend 30 minutes talking to her just about the evolution of her process as an actor and what she still does, what she doesn't do, what she did once that worked and she never repeated because I would, uh, times where she's like, all I did was memorize lines and hit my marks. I just, I would love to know 
what it's been like for her in the evolution of the process as an artist. Because she she is undoubtedly one of the greatest women actors ever on screen. Yeah, absolutely. Yep. Uh, shout out to everybody that was involved with this film. Um, even though, obviously, you, you probably just shouldn't remake it, but you definitely could. Uh, you, you, you could, because I mean, the story is so so good. Because the only thing that was lagging was the quality of the film, like the like the the camera quality. Even though I thought some of the cinematography was actually real nice, a lot of the shots, as was extreme. the score, the shadowing behind a lot of the characters. Cause yes, lot, they made everything very very dark. Very and dark. I like all that, but the fact that the, the quality just wasn't as good as you you want it to be. Yeah, and you could it seem like an eighties film. And for the day, I'm sure it was a much edgier feeling film back when it first came out. Oh, you could take it much farther now. You could and should. This reminded me of the complaint we had about Alia's movie, mm. um, uh, Gunga, 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 Gunga Bai, whatever it's called, where it was Disneyfied versus what we know about the real story of the woman. Yeah, I felt like this this was a more authentic telling of a real story of someone who was in this world, mm. and I, I I just felt uniformly the casting <laughs> was great. I thought the story w and the, well, the direction was fantastic. Whenever you have just great actors in roles, it's going to help. Obviously, you're led by the best Indian actress I've ever seen. Yep. And then uh, Atul Konkarni, um, one of the best male actors out there, in my opinion. Yep. I want to see more of him as well. Um, but, yeah. Let us know what you thought about the film, obviously. Um, Did we talk about everything? I, I think we did. We talked a little. We didn't. We didn't really talk about the score. I liked the score. It was a score, subtle score, but it, it was subtle and it was kind of lost because the quality of the sound was so poor. Yeah, and that wasn't because of the filming. It was the just the the degradation of the quality over time and the particular streaming platform we yeah. used. Yeah, sometimes it's just the only place I, I could find certain things is a certain site. Yeah, and, and so and in addition to the regality, I think I said this earlier that if like. I said this at one point in the film to Andrani. I went, Taboo has never looked more beautiful mm -hmm. and is perfect in the role because do you realize at the beginning of the film, she's playing a very young woman mm -hmm. and she has to go through the process of aging, which I love they did nothing to her to make her age. Mm -hmm. It was all internalized because Taboo was about 31 years old when she did the film. Okay. And the character goes from like 19 to 30 something. And the only thing we got in that was the years and her carrying the age based on just internally with her life experience. Yeah, so yeah. absolutely. Great movie. Anyways, let us know what you thought about the film and uh, what should be the next Taboo and Atul. Yes. Uh, I, I know Atul has and that Marat Nathrang as well, mm -hmm. but uh, the only place I can find it is on Z5 and the songs are not subbed. And I, oh. I've been told the songs are very integral to that story. Oh, well, there you go. Um, and so that is why we have not seen that one. But I do want to watch it. So if anybody has a version with subtitles, please send it my way. Yes, but uh, for both of them uh, and uh, the director as well, Yes. What should be the next films that we should watch down below.